This video is made possible by our generous supporters on Patreon. Check out patreon.com slash nwr for all the details. At E3 2019, we finally learned about a new addition to the upcoming Switch remake of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening that wasn't the adorable toy-like graphics. Replacing the camera hut, may it rest in peace, is the Chamber Dungeon, a seeming companion to the Color Dungeon, which is returning, where you can create your own dungeons using room tiles from layers you've cleared. Dompe, who may or may not break the Zelda timeline, is your guide to the wonders of the Chamber Dungeon. Interacting with him lets you bring up challenges that teach you the basics of dungeon creation. We are able to see reference to four different challenges in the E3 footage. Dungeon Arranging 101 and Placing the Basics are two of them, both focused on teaching you the basics of the mode. A Passage Across introduces the concepts of using stairs to go from one area to another. Lastly, Fill Up Your Hearts involves placing tiles in a puzzle-like fashion to make sure every tile in the heart-shaped level is filled and accessible. During the E3 2019 Treehouse Live demo, we saw Zelda series producer Eiji Anuma play through a Fill Up Your Hearts level made by the Treehouse representative there. That showcase clawed at two aspects of Chamber Dungeon that make me really excited. The Treehouse rep made an allusion to it being a Picross-like puzzle, and with that in mind, these various challenges could be as fun to lay out in a cohesive, engaging manner as they are to play. While this mode might lack the freedom of Super Mario Maker, it could potentially echo the joy and fun of creation that Mario Maker nails so thoroughly. The other aspect is the ability to share with your friends and mess with their expectations. That's actually in line with the first point too, as that expectation experimentation is a big part of why I love Mario Maker. We have decades of 2D Mario and 2D Zelda experience, and it's a thrill to mess with our preconceived notions of what they are. In the dungeon creation, the tiles you can place are all from dungeons you have completed, and you deepen your pool the more dungeons you clear. Each tile fits into different categories, you've got entrances, boss rooms, and then a variety of 1, 2, 3, and 4 entrance rooms that all predeterminedly contain stairs, locked doors, and treasure chests. You can't finish your dungeon without having enough treasure chests to hold keys to unlock doors. Furthermore, every dungeon needs an entrance and a boss room. Stairs also always need a companion staircase, and the novel thing about them is each stair leads to a connecting side-scrolling room that appears to be some form of randomly generated. Those aren't the only challenges as well. Throughout the footage, we only saw four challenges that were a part of the One Shovel Challenge area. Also shown were menu options for two shovel challenges that assumedly get more complex. There's a possibility more challenges and options are past that, but as of right now, we just don't know exactly how deep this mode is. We do know that the adorable Link amiibo launching alongside the game on September 20th will add Shadow Link to Chamber Dungeons as a plus effect. He's not a traditional boss, instead the shadowy villain will chase you throughout the entire dungeon. Felling the foe will net you many rupees. All other Zelda amiibo across past Zelda games and Smash Brothers will do something in Link's Awakening on Switch as well potentially deeping the Chamber Dungeon's pool of tricks. Chamber Dungeon has a lot of potential, but Nintendo could very easily kneecap its versatility before it even gets going. Are you only trapped to the Dompe given challenges? How many of those challenges are in the game? How does sharing your dungeons work? If you can't share your dungeons with friends online, then this becomes a deep, dark, solitary experience with very little chance of shared joy. It almost functionally becomes pointless. This might be the closest we get to a Zelda Maker game, and I hope that Nintendo gives it the best chance to succeed. Having online sharing and potentially some sort of place to go search for player-created dungeons could extend the life of this remake way past the ending. What do you think of Chamber Dungeon and Link's Awakening? Do you think there are more new additions to the remake we might not know about yet? What do you think the other amiibo will add? We'll likely see a lot of Link's Awakening as we get closer to its September 20th release date, but then again, that's only three months away. So, uh, time's ticking. Let's see what else they got out there. Thanks very much for watching, and stay tuned for some details about our Patreon. Thanks for watching, bye. This video is made possible by our generous supporters on Patreon. Did you know that Nintendo World Report is funded directly by fans like you? When you support Nintendo World Report on Patreon, you get immediate access to multiple exclusive podcasts every month, exclusive Discord channels, an early look at select content, and more. All for as little as a dollar a month. 
Check out patreon.com slash NWR for all the details.